what's the number one thing that you're told? Hey, if you want to make more money, you got to hustle. And we have to go into the language. The first thing that we see that's a problem with that, with that uh, phrasing is make money. You don't make money because making money is illegal, right? You do not make money. You attract money or money is given to you or you receive money. That's what it's really uh, all about. So if you try to make money, that's fraudulent. That is a literal, um, you cannot do that. That's against the law. But what you can do is you can learn to attract large sums of wealth, large sums of uh, abundance towards yourself through certain techniques, through understanding what really draws money in. If everything is electromagnetic, if everything is magic and energy and, and mysticism, then we can, in fact, use this in practical elements of our lives to really create positive change for ourselves. Therefore, we can use our minds to be literal magnets for wealth, okay? Now, the first thing you need to understand is that you have been programmed immensely since your very birth about money, about what money really is, about how you can acquire money and how people acquire money. So you may have watch your mom or your dad uh, or your, you know, someone in your family, someone that took care of you um, struggle with money as a young child. You may have seen them worry and stress about money. You may have seen them um, not be positively focused around money and then notice that they consistently are struggling to pay their bills or they're consistently struggling to get by or they're always worried about it or they're always thinking about it or it's always in the back of their mind. And what we need to understand, what I really want you to take away from this lesson is that thoughts create reality. Thoughts create reality. So what are your dominant thoughts? What are your dominant thoughts that you're having about wealth creation, about financial abundance, about creating an infinite stream of energy that is reciprocal towards you, that is something that you are receiving, that you are open to and able to experience large amounts of abundance from. So what we need to really have you focus on, the first thing that I want you to focus on is to really ask yourself, what do you think money is? Okay, what do you actually think money is? Now, I, so if you don't understand this fundamental principle that your reality is the representation of your thoughts, emotions, feelings, and energies, and you don't understand that you are in fact creating your reality, then how can you attract wealth? You won't be able to because you won't have enough energy. You won't have enough current, enough power to charge yourself up with this abundance frequency. You need to fill your mind up with wealth. You need to study how the richest people in the world operate. And I'm not talking about the deep state. I'm not talking about the elite. So let's let's go to this because I, I know people have this like trigger response. They hear, they hear rich, they immediately go to deep state, they immediately go to evil, they immediately go to tyranny, money is evil, bad, Illuminati, control system, blah, 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 blah. That's like the, that's the ta uh, typical spiritual new age nonsense, nonsensical response that I hear all the time. I hear it all the time. Um, especially when I first started launching my courses and stuff and getting some of my material out there, I heard this all the time to the point where it was severely annoying me because it was such a negative uh, frequency that it, it just didn't align with my belief systems and my understanding of reality at all. Because when you put out a valuable product, you cannot just expect it to come for free. Okay, whether that be uh, a YouTube video or a course or something. And I know that there were some people that were like, hey, you should make your courses for free or something. And I said, you don't understand energy exchanges. And if you are asking that, that means you're probably broke in your life. You're prob you probably don't have abundance in your life. And the reason is because you don't understand energy exchanges. And therefore, you're probably parasitical. You're probably an energy vampire. So I would stay clear of you. Because an energy vampire is someone that wants something for free. They want something uh, without having to give anything back. And that's not cool. That's um, a severe drain on your energy. So anybody that asks you for something for free, you know, you have to really feel into it. Um, now, if 
if I have a family member that's asking me to do something, of course, I'm going to do that. But if I have some random person online asking me, hey, I need some some help with whatever, I'm not going to help them because I don't know them. And I, I don't give my energy to energy vampires, right? And so you need to be very firm with yourself. If you're constantly giving your energy away to energy vampires, well, then how are you going to have enough charge and energy to build up wealth creation? You won't. You would have given away all your power and your energy. You're not going to be able to have anything to create your reality. You're going to always find yourself in struggle and lack. And a lot of us empaths and, and highly sensitive beings and highly spiritual beings, we have this desire to help everybody. We have this desire to save everybody and to really care for everybody, to show people as much love and positive energy as possible. And that's great, but it often comes at the expense of ourselves. So I can't tell you how many people I know that would do this. Like, you know, let's say they have a Reiki business or a healing business or like a, some sort of tarot business or something. And um, they, they start doing readings and stuff and they're doing the readings for free. And um, I, I've coached a few people around this concept as well. And um, they're like, you know, I'm struggling with my bills. I can't pay my bills. I can't even afford rent or whatever, but I'm still doing tarot readings for free. And so then I asked them, what the hell is wrong with you in a very blunt and direct way? Why would you do that for free? Why would you take care of somebody else when you don't even have a house, when you don't even have a place to stay? How does that make any sense? How does it make sense for you to sacrifice yourself as some sort of martyr or hero or like, you know, savior and, and just, just help everybody for free when you can't even take care of yourself? You cannot help anybody unless you've helped yourself. So we have to stop doing this. We have to stop trying to help people when we haven't taken, taken care of ourselves first. And if people are expecting your help and they've, they've basically gotten themselves tied into you where they're like karmically attached and they make you feel guilty and they try to manipulate you uh, and they try to get their, your help all the time and they need somebody to talk to you, you got to be really careful with these kinds of people. Because this kind of stuff, this lack, the struggle, the negative mindset, the fear, the energy vampirism, that stuff is going to hold you down, okay? All of that kind of stuff, all those kind of people I removed from my life, and they slowly just left because I was no longer vibrating at that frequency. And I no longer held those beliefs, and I understood my value, appeasing and people-pleasing, which is what it is. It's people-pleasing behavior, okay? Don't people-please. That this, this, all of this stuff has to do with your wealth. It may not seem like it, but psychologically, you have to understand that wealth creation is psychological. Okay. It really is psychological. There's of course, business and marketing aspects to it, but a lot of it is psychological. A lot of it is how you present yourself. A lot of it is how you, how you carry yourself, how you believe about your, what you believe about yourself. But once you See, the, the key to fixing this whole situation, all your negative beliefs, all your limiting beliefs, all your, your doubts and your fears and your insecurities and your what if I'm not good enough? What if I'm not worthy enough of this money? What if I'm not worthy to survive? So you're telling me you're not worthy to survive? <laughs> you're telling me you're not worthy to, to be loved? Fine. Okay, fine. That's your belief. My suggestion would be to Focus on your goals. I would say it again. Focus on your mission. Because when you focus on your mission, you will be forced to do the shadow work and to introspect into why you believe that. And again, you will stop putting the focus. Energetically, you will shift the focus off of money to your purpose. Off of chasing and acquiring something to creating something to building something. And when you build something, you have this nice, beautiful creation that's building something. Like I built the school of mysticism and energetically and astrally, it's like this, you know, it started off as, as a small little thing and it starts to grow and grow and grow and grow. And it's this huge creation now. It's gotten bigger. And still we're just in the beginning phases, but as it grows and it sits here, it has all this power that's radiating. And then all that power, of course, it's going to draw in wealth. Because this power is sitting here as an astral construct and that I've created with my mind. First, I created it with my mind and my intention and my visualization. 
then I physically built it with my hands and the, the computer and my voice and my energy. And then we built it and then it magnetizes things towards us. It magnetizes wealth, it magnetizes abundance, it magnetizes all this. But what was the creation? The creation was value. The creation was contribution. The creation was a genuine desire to help, a genuine desire to give and to serve and to be in vibrational resonance. So when you do that, you create a very powerful magnetic field towards yourself. And that is how your abundance comes through. So avoid the negative people. Avoid the lack mindset. Avoid the people. If you have friends right now that are always struggling to pay their bills and you are on your way up, successfully how can you stay friends with them how can you talk to them every single day when they have these limiting beliefs to me it's not that i don't like them it's not that i don't want to be their friend it is that their vibration would slow me down it would hold me back it would cause me suffering that i don't need in my life it's and of course when they're around you because they sense that you intuitively understand this they're going to bring up their negativity all the time and so you have to be very clear with people like this. Hey, I'm not interested in your lack mindset. I'm not interested in your 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 false beliefs. I'm not interested in your your uh, programming. That's what it is. It's programming. So if you haven't dealt with your programming, guys, this is 2021. We're, we're in 2022. The matrix is changing. <laughs> we're not in the same system that we were, you know, a few years ago. This this place is rapidly rapidly changing. There's a lot of stuff going on. I have a lot of stuff going on. And so you got to be ready for these shifts. And your programming is, is going to be forced to be spit up because we are all going to higher realms. Energetically, this place is lifting up. So if you are not in resonance, you're going to be uh, struggling to swim when the currents turn up, which is already happening. Digital economy is basically like, hey, you see a web page and there's a product. Are you going to click on that web page and buy it? If you can master this one skill, you basically have employment for life. You could probably sell a coffee cup. <laughs> you could sell anything if you know how to create a sales page. And so I actually love creating sales pages, especially for my courses, because it is so authentic to me. It is so uh, you know aligned. I get to tell them exactly what I'm going to teach them, especially with the course. You know, the, the last course we just launched was the Decoding the Matrix Reality course. And I loved every aspect of building the course, especially the sales page, because I got to tell them exactly what I was going to help them with. I was going to help them with understanding Sophia versus Yal Devo, understanding the Demiurge, understanding the Archonic influence, all this kind of stuff. You create the ideal customer when you create your sales page. You create the exact customer that you're looking for, that perfect customer, and that perfect customer is going to be the one that you resonate with the most. And those are going to be the people that buy from you and, and purchase your stuff. And so with TMU, we definitely did that for sure um, with attracting the right people. And that is how in these higher realms, these higher dimensional realms, that's how business works. That's how commerce works. That's how trade works. So everything that's going on in the 3D, I now see it pretty clearly because I've really taken time to observe the way the 3D way of doing business is so outdated and so lower vibrational. It doesn't make any sense to me. I mean, I understand it, but it's mainly about tricking and persuading and, um, you know, like giving you all kinds of promotions and stuff to get your att attention and selling you basically garbage. That's what it is. Most of the products in the world are garbage. They're poisonous. Either it's the food that's poisonous or the pharmaceuticals, all kinds of stuff, you know. All that stuff that they're selling you, that's that's garbage. It's complete garbage. And yet so many people buy it because the level of consciousness is so low in the in the world. So instead, instead of doing all that and purchasing and, and getting all, all that kind of stuff, market to a higher audience. Market to your specific audience. Market to your ideal customer, your ideal person that you want to bring into your product, your service, your business, your your uh, system, whatever it is you got there. So that's some practical advice on actually with the, the marketing and the sales. So there's a new economy developing, which is the creator, service, innovator, digital economy. Ask yourself, 
What service, product, skill, knowledge, content, entertainment, value, or innovation can you provide to the world? Goodbye to the nine to five and big corporations. Hello, dharmic businesses and soulful companies. So important. More people, as we understand what this true reality is about and understanding the spiritual nature behind everything, we'll understand what business is really about. We'll understand how to create passion and dharmic businesses, which are life purpose aligned. The only businesses that are going to survive in the new earth are going to be life purpose businesses. Money may still exist, but I guarantee you our relationship to it will not be the same. Okay. Many of us have already pioneered and put out that new frequency of wealth creation. Therefore, we are we are experiencing the abundance results. And we are seeing, hey, in this new earth with these new codes and these new realities, we are literally unlimited. We literally have everything we want. Every materialistic desire is satisfied because we are not here to, to try to survive in materialism and the material world. We're here to be holographic. We're here to be light beings. And so therefore, things like money are such a, at, at such a low frequency compared to what your consciousness will naturally be at. It will always be magnetized to you. It, it's, it's really, really not that hard. Don't overcomplicate it. Don't put so much fear into it. If you are struggling and you're trying and you're trying and you're trying, you're wondering why am I not getting the results? Look inward. Okay. Even if your business is not getting clicks, if you're not even getting clicks, look inwards. Now, maybe there's something wrong with the page and stuff, but maybe you're self-sabotaging. Maybe there's some sort of unconscious belief system that you don't believe you're worthy. And so basically you have two choices here. You either Get over your fears and your, your self-doubts and your limiting beliefs and realize that, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to hold on to this anymore. I'm tired of this. I deserve better. Or you go back into the slave system. It's your choice. Neither choice, honestly, neither choice is wrong or right from an absolute perspective. From a uh, you know incarnation perspective and a, and a human uh, perspective, it's, of course, going to be better to work for yourself and to be free. But neither choice in the absolute is wrong. So I don't want to make you feel bad if you're still in that system or if you're still in the nine to five system. You know, everybody has to do what they have to do, but recognize that there is a new way and don't take an excuse of, oh, you know, I'm too old or I'm too, too tired or I'm not young enough or I don't know enough or all that kind of stuff. No, that is a poor excuse. It's really your own fears that are holding you back.